Hi there, my name is Cuppy Cates, and welcome back to Wolf Quest Broken Wings with Charm. But we have finished her story. She lost so many pups, y'all, and I feel bad, I really do, because I know I'm a better player than that. But I will say, when you don't have a mate and you're playing mostly on accurate, it can be really tough. Especially with some of the new AI that is being added. And obviously Lost River is a little harder of a map anyway because it's so large, so keeping territory is rougher, meaning more wolf attacks, etc, etc. But it's alright, because that's a part of the story. I think that the story would not be as good if it wasn't for some of the trauma and the suffering and having to choose better than what life is handing you, as we often have to do in real life. But now we're going to look at Charm and her two remaining pups that did survive. We're going to grow them up, see what they look like. This is going to be a very short video, y'all. I'm so sorry. But we will be finishing Steigander and Willow this coming weekend. Okay, so here is the family tree. Please ignore the mate. That mate name is not canon. I just named him that. Um, I don't really have a canon mate for her just yet that I want to reveal, mainly because it's not important. Um, he's not going to be a part of the story. He was essentially used, I hate to say that, but used by Charm just so that she could have puppies, but she didn't really want a relationship with this male. Um, so just ignore that. Um, but Saffron was apparently the runt. Holy crap. Look at those. Plus one strength, zero stamina, minus two speed, minus two health. That is pretty severe. I'm not going to lie. And then Liam was the other to live. Oh, I was so sad that Kendall died being the last female. Um, Liam's going to have zero strength, zero stamina, plus one speed, minus one health. So not a lot of health in this group. We did lose Wish, unfortunately, as just a young pup. We also lost Red as just a young pup. And we lost Kendall during the rendezvous site when she simply would not listen and went off and found her fate with a coyote. So let's go ahead and grow up these two boys and see what they look like. So now we're gonna start with Saffron, who, oh my gosh, he may be a runt, but he is a beautiful runt. Look at this coat that he has. I don't even know what this coat is, but my gosh, is he a pretty puppy. Okay, so Saffron is indeed a male pup. It looks like... Oh, Saffron, do you have an NPC coat? Saffron has an NPC coat, y'all. That is why I don't recognize this coat. This is indeed an NPC coat. Absolutely beautiful. He looks like a true gray wolf. His eyes are kind of a golden color with a light tint of green in them. Let's listen to his howls, which by the way, I love the new howl system. Uh, you can now choose what used to be just secondary howls as your primary howl. But let's go ahead and see what he's got. Very pretty. So Saffron has a very soft voice with a higher pitch. It's kind of beautiful. Sounds like he is singing to the sky as opposed to just howling. He's also smiling. That's adorable. Uh, let's see. I don't see any obvious. Nope, no customizations. And of course, because this is charm, there will not be a snaggle thing. As I said before, he has a plus in strength, but a minus two speed and a minus two health with standard stamina. This poor pup, he would be so hard to play, y'all. That minus two speed honestly terrifies me. You would have to rely on elk falling. And then during the true spring into almost summer, when you have to find the baby ungulates, you would have to feed off of them because the elk are so strong at that point that they don't usually fall. Oh, it would be troublesome. So he would definitely be hard to play, but I honestly think worth the challenge. I don't really have a purpose for playing these pups yet. That doesn't mean that they'll never be played, but it is a fun prospect if we ever come back to Charms Pups that it would be great to get the runt achievement with this one. 
And then finally we have Liam who is also beautiful. I don't remember this coat as well. Completely stunning. What is this coat? This is also an NPC coat. What? Wow. The two boys that survived had NPC coats. What a beautiful, beautiful baby. So Liam has a very light golden eye. I would almost say that is a true yellow gold. Very stunning, especially on his pelt. Now let's go ahead and listen to these puppies' howls. Oh my gosh, what a lonely howl. I love that howl. Oh my gosh. Okay, these boys, I just want a story about both of them so bad. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll have to return to Charms Pups from this litter and kind of have another brother's rivalry. That would be so fun to watch the two of these, but poor Saffron would have a huge disadvantage. Like I thought Mikhail was bad back in the day, right? But no, no, I'm pretty sure Saffron would be extremely disadvantaged in that. But perhaps instead of a rivalry, it would be them working together, which would be cool. More like a brother's bond sort of thing. And same as his brother, I don't really see any, any of these uh, customizations being used at all. No collar. The tail looks fairly normal to me. So normal boys, normal boys. And like I said before, his stats are zero strength, zero stamina, plus one speed. So he's a little faster, uh, but minus one health. He can't take as many hits. But either way, these pups, absolutely precious. I love them. And now we are back to Charm, surrounded by her children. All of her puppies together. She honestly did not have that many because she went so long in her years not having a mate and that was her final litter. She's not gonna have another one, I don't think. I can always change my mind as I decide to tell the story. Sometimes things change, but I think Charm is done. That doesn't mean this is the end of the Phoenix pack. It just means that no more Charm. However, her story is not done. Even if she does not have any more litters like Teo, for example, I will still incorporate her in the story. She has one final important play that has to do with Snagglefang and the Dawn Pack, and she is going to be what possibly saves the Snagglefang Pack. I hope you guys are excited for the story to come. I appreciate y'all and all of your compliments about how much you love the stories I tell. As much as I love playing the game, and yes, I would like to go back to just playing the game like many of you have also asked for, this is what I like to do. I love to tell stories. I love giving character to these wolves rather than just playing a wolf. I want to give them goals, give them love, give them, like I said, personality, give them tragedy, just everything that creates a story. Because after all, I want to write books. And so this is my way of writing without writing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. This will be the end of the video. Sorry, it was so, so short today. But go ahead, comments below. Let me know just for future sake. You never know if I might play these two boys. Let me know what you noticed about these two in the comments below. Give me an idea for their personality, what their goals might be, what their flaw might be, what their pack points might be, and what goal they may have the purpose of earning pack points. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and who knows, maybe I'll play one of these boys in stream with y'all watching. Maybe I'll just make a bonus series for no reason. After all, I am thinking about making a Patreon, and I might do Patreon exclusive series coming in the future. So let me know what you think about that, because I love y'all's opinions, I love y'all's ideas, everything about y'all. I just love. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to tickle and poke the like button. Subscribe even if you're new. I highly suggest you watch these stories if it's your thing. I understand if it's not. 
um, and jingle that bell. That way you don't miss any stories coming up. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next week for something new.